Want to know how to do a full body clip on your Bedlington Terrier? Well, I'm going to show you that in today's video. Hi guys, it's Chloe and Ted here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy by posting videos just like this one and also videos on dog care, dog training and anything to do with your dog. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing and don't forget to check out all the links down below. Let's get clipping into Ted. So what you're going to see when I start clipping Ted is a towel because I am in my lounge currently because our kitchen is being redone. But I'm just going to run quickly through the things that I use. I use a Cool Care Plus and this for clipper blades because when the clippers get really hot and you're clipping your dog, um, you can it's not very nice for them and it can burn their skin. So you want to keep them clear from hair and also very cool so I use this um, and then the clippers that I use are both master clip clippers which are very good I have done a review on them and I'll leave the link down below um, but basically they come with three clippers and this is the clipper here sorry they come with three clipper blades I should say and these are the clippers here um, and you can choose the clipper blades you want. I use a five on Ted's body and then a 10 on his, um, around his bum area and the bits where um, I probably want to get a bit shorter and a bit closer. And then for his face, I use a dog trimmer, which I also reviewed, which I'll leave the link down below. And this is also master clip and I chose the blue colour and it's really small. Now this is a really great clipper, I actually prefer it to my bigger clippers but you cannot use these on the body, you have to use them on the face, armpits and bum and paws I think. So, and it comes with a really nice little battery but I've um, reviewed those so I'll leave the link down below for that as well. Um, and then to do like his like hairy bits like on his face I use um, some clippers that clippers scissors that I got some from master clip as well and um, these have got a blunt end at the top so that you're not going to obviously hurt your dog too much so excuse me <laughs> let's get into clipping Ted so when you've got your clipper and you've got a puppy that you are clipping You've got to remember that whenever you turn this clipper on, it's going to be really, really loud and it's going to be a very funny vibration on their skin. So if you've got a puppy who's not used to doing it, I would definitely recommend like doing a little bit and treating them, doing a little bit and treating them and keep praising them. So I'll show you how I would do that if he was a puppy. Um, but also what you want to do is you want to um, wait till they're really relaxed before you clip them. So Ted used to get brushed as a puppy when he was asleep and now he associates clipping and brushing with going to sleep so he actually gets quite lazy and likes to lie down. The other thing is you want to make sure that the back of the blade is against their skin um, so you're clipping them like that and it's not tilted in either way so you get a nice clean cut. Obviously you turn the clippers on with a bedlington, you, I always start just above their hip, just above their top of their leg and I work that way. So I'll show you what I mean and what you want to do is you want to keep the blade against their skin and just follow their body round. See how he sits down. There we go. And don't be afraid to put this against their skin because obviously you want to give them a nice clean cut. You don't want to give them a, a jagged clip. What you want to do is you want to follow this line here. So you're going to go round and along. But be careful when you get to this point because there is a lot of bare skin there and get the blade flat against their skin. And what I do next is when I get to the shoulders is I start to go down. Um, and then when you get to the back you want to go along the back of their spine. So this part of the body you're going that way, then you're going down for the shoulders 
and then you're going along their back that way. So don't be afraid to go over it as many times as possible so that you get all of the right hair off, all of the right length. That is what I'm doing here, just to make sure he's neat. And then I'm gonna now go from the top of his head. So there's a crown, there is a bone, sorry, on the top of their head just there and I go from there backwards to clip his ba back, the back of his body. You don't want to clip into the head. So along his spine and then down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on his bum area just around here because it's quite hairy here. So I'm going to try and just try and neaten this up. I'm not going to take too much off the tail, but a bit more off at the top and around the sides. Just so when he has a poo, it's nice and clean. Maybe a bit more off at the top here and just focus on that bit more. So I'm going to just go down a bit. Go down around the sides. And then it's just that little bit neater. And then lift up his tail so you can just see where the edge of his bum is, but don't do his bum. And there we go, that is a lot neater there now. It's a lot tidier. So I think the best way to do this is to get your puppy or your dog to stand up on their two paws. Lower him a bit. And then you basically, you just shave underneath their tummy as much as you can and obviously keeping it flat the whole time and this bit will go fairly short and now you can see obviously his belly is this side nice and short want to start to work your way around onto the chest so the chest is generally they like as a show clip to keep this bare but I just like to keep it short but I will just clip just to under his neck so I'll clip all of this and then just leave his head for the trimmers and then we can get a nice clip on him so I'm just going to shave up for this part So what I'm going to do is, because I can't get to all of him, I'm going to lift up his arm and just do underneath and round his neck. So what you want to do when obviously you've got to this point is you just want to keep going over the areas just to make sure every little bit of area, all the hair is off that you need to be off. So obviously there's two ways to clip their legs. You can obviously clip them, which is what I used to do. Uh, however, recently I actually want to scissor them. So you want to brush out their legs. You want to get a comb and you want to run the comb through the hair. Now as you do it, you want to run the comb through and scissor off the long bits and then that makes sure that as you go up it's all the same length and there are no wispy bits hanging off and you can get it all the same length and nice and neat um, and then it doesn't look too bad and too scrappy. On to the face, uh, what you do is you clip um, along here and down so all of this area comes off all of that bit comes away and all of that bit comes away right up to their mouth so you're basically doing a diagonal line from the end of their mouth to the end of their eye and back and that's all coming off so for this i use the dog trimmers that i um that i showed earlier so i clip all the way along under here, here, along here, and all the way under his chin with the Showmate dog trimmers. So I clip backwards 
near his eye. Obviously you have to be really careful, but at the same time, it will be okay. Don't be too scared. So I go all the way to the back of his ear, all the way to the edge of his mouth, so you can see where the line is beginning to form that you're making with the Showmate dog trimmers. So you can just about, maybe, yeah, you can see the bare bit here. That's what you want to get rid of. You want that nice line taken away from their face. So that's obviously that part of their face done and then the underside of their face done. Now when you're doing this part and this part, I scissor them. So I'm going to brush it out. So his hair here is really, really long. So once you've, um, so what you want to start doing is you want to start just clipping them round the face and round the eyes just to give them a bit more shape. And then what you want to do with this top part is you want to push it over and what wants to happen is that you want to be able to get that in line with the edge of their head so about that much needs to come off. So let me just, so if I pull it, push it over and then cut along the line and push it over again. so that you get all the long bits off. And make a really nice straight line along the edge of their face. And that will leave their top bit at the nice length. And then you just wanna make sure that it's right the other side as well. For Ted's ears, obviously I don't shave them off like a proper Bedlington, but I do trim them because otherwise they do get really bushy. So I just literally trim the top of his ears just to make them that little bit neater. And then also I do cut the end of his ears as well. So then that's the top of the, his ears done. So I'm just going to brush this out a bit to see how long we are here and I'm just going to follow you can feel the shape of the ear and it goes like that so I'm just going to trim a bit of the ear off not the ear sorry the ear hair but make the corners a bit more rounded so like what you do at school and that neatens up his hair just a little bit more on the ends. Now the last thing that I'm going to do and that I'm going to show you is that I clip the end of Ted's paws which happens a lot with a lot of Bedlingtons but I go quite high up as well. So you want to get the trimmer and just trim as close as you can to their paws just to make it a little bit neater and stop any annoying mats getting into their pads and go all the way around the back. Go as high up as you want. And once you've done that, it should all be nice and neat on their paws. So the last couple of bits that you want to do is that you actually want to shave all of this completely bare of their hair. Um, otherwise it starts to look really frazzled. So you want to turn on the clipper and just be obviously really careful because this is very skinny down here. Um, so just trim away as much as you can. I like to do it this way. I like to do it this way with Ted because it means I can see his undercarriage quite easily and I know I'm not gonna hurt him. So if you can get your dog to do this, this is the best way to do it, but do experiment. Thank you so much for watching. Ted has now run off because he got so annoyed. 
I do recommend that you do your clip your dog maybe every six to eight weeks. I haven't probably clipped much, clip, clipped Ted in over about three months. So that was hard work for me and him to do his whole body. And now he is completely and utterly done, which I'm so pleased about. I am so hairy right now. So I am gonna go and hoover, have my lunch. Please subscribe if you're new. Check out the links below and I, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.